Hi guys, it's me Sonia and I'm back with some, a flip through of the 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. Um, I did do all 30 layouts. I don't have process videos for them. Maybe one or two. Um, um, as you know, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and I just recently started my chemo. And I haven't been feeling good to do the, the do some videos, but I did do my sketches on my bed. <laughs> so I just wanted to do this video and show you guys um, all my sketches that I do did for the 30 days of sketches with Christy. I know I I told her that I was gonna be doing them, but I did I couldn't because you know my situation. But I did do all the sketches. And they're all here, all 30 of them. I'm going to go through them quickly because I don't want this video to be long. So um, let's just get started. This was the first one for the first day. Um, I'm not going to talk about it a lot because I want to get through all of them. But you can really see the design on here. Mostly the, this is the first one with the, the stripes and the circle. I actually used the square. And I put a little shaker right there with her, my daughter's picture in it. She was little. Right now she's like 16. So this was a long time ago. This is the second day. This day, actually, I do have a process video for it. It wasn't finished on the process video because I, I was in the hospital. And my daughter had to do it because I wanted a video up but then I got out of the hospital and I finished it up my dog had turned 10 months and this is her go in her album for her 10 month this is the third layout um, these are pictures of my kids. We went to a museum in Miami where they had the Dora character and my kids at that age They were a fan of Dora So I decided to pull this I had this um, This stuff of Dora for a long time I had it when I lived in New York and I've been here for like 16 years. So it's very old this kit and I finally decided to use it with these three pictures of the girls that we went there to go see. And I love, I just love how it came out. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. This was another day that my son was, I was in the hospital and my son and my daughter, my daughter's back here. They went to visit me at Orlando and this is part of the hospital inside where they got all the Disney stuff so they went there and took pictures why my my mom or my dad visit me in the in the room this was just recently too that picture because they only went, let one person at a time and the kids the minor kids couldn't come up but it, i think it came out gorgeous i love it i love this this one too it's one of my favorites This is my dog again. She had just gotten her hair cut. It's a recent picture of her. She just, we took it to the groomer. She came back with ponytails and a little bandana every time we take her to the groomers. And she likes her picture taken. I thought it was a good one to put some of these fall colors on there. This was about two years maybe or three years ago around fall but we in florida i'm in florida so we don't have a lot of fall fall photos but this i know it was around um thanksgiving because we they we we went to church that day and everybody was getting dressed up so i know that was around that that, that, that time i really like this one too like the colors i picked this is all all of these are with my hip kit club and some other Bicky Bootins. I had to just use the storyteller because they're gorgeous and I love it. 
but they are mostly with hit kit plug which I use for my how to kill kit with style all I do is whatever's left over I pass it to the new kit and then that's be the how to kit with style that month whatever month that box I'm in This one's also, this is a school dance that my dad took them, father-daughter dance, when they were in middle school. No, elementary. Yes, elementary. Well, I never used to use sketches, but now that I did this, I, I'm like into it. I'm into it. I, I lo now I love to do sketches. Before, I thought they were like not not for me because I like to do things my way. I like mixed media, but all these sketches in here, they hard, they hardly don't have a lot of mixed media, but I love doing them. So I'm like really digging it. So I'll be using more sketches after this. This is my daughter, how she looks now, the 16 year old. She went to a wedding at her, fam her father's family side. And this is her picture that she gave me for can do this layout and I love it how she looks there her long hair I love it she cut it and I'm very upset with that this is my other daughter she just turned 21 this October so this was her day of her birthday and she was going out with her boyfriend and we took some pictures here before she left and this one came out beautiful I love it this is using um, Ev Paige Evans um, Scenic Group. So I did order a pack to get separate from, so I had to use it right away because it is beautiful. Hey, get out of there. My dog is here making, going underneath the thing. She'll turn off my camera. Okay, this is my daughter at um, Universal Studios. That is the castle for Harry Potter. They took pictures there a lot. This is using my Vicky, my um, Hit Kit Club. I love how this one came out. This is my son. He's 12 now, but he was such a cutie when he was little. He loved to wear glasses and he wouldn't go anywhere without glasses. And this is a day at our lake where we we just skied a lot so and he was wearing army pants and hat to match his uncle so he i decided to use this paper and this paper is from um i'm not sure but i know it's a collection that i have i just recently bought the paper pad i know it's from old school the collection's called Old School, so I'm not sure who's the 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 owner of it, but that's that one. This one I decided to go a little bit different than the sketch, but I did use all the little pictures which were all in one place. I wanted it to look like it was a wall in my house, so I separated them with this paper that I cut up all these, um, all of these um little picture frames and used it like it was in the wall of my house because I have a wall like this with pictures so that's how I did that one by the way they're in order so by the sketches the number of sketches this is using Vicky Booten's new collection storyteller I mean I'm in love with her collection I love it this is my um, 12, 16 year old. She used to love taking pictures in front of my mom's garden. And I just thought this perfect with her jean dress. This is another, another was my daughter. Her first Halloween here in this house. We used to live in New York, but we moved down to Florida. This is her first Halloween. And she decided to eat everything she found. She was so cute though. Just throw up as a little mouse. These stuff I got at the dollar store. So you guys looking for embellishments for the dollar for 
free layouts. Hit Dollar General. They have tons of stuff. That's where I got these. And I got these ghosts, the bats, all of these from that Dollar General store. So hit those Dollar Trees and Dollar Generals because they are awesome. This was that um, church day that I was telling you. It was we were going to church. My my kids were smaller. I saw your picture. This was this is my daughter. That's my niece, and that's me. So this one I I, I like it because of the, I got to put these little critters on there. That is using my head clip. This is Halloween last year. My daughter dressed up as a butterfly. And I thought it, this one matched. I gotta put some glue on here because, like we know, nothing sticks to gesso. But I like how all of this came out. I like I like this one very much. This is my, also my my son when he was smaller. He liked to play with crazy things in the yard. And I thought I would make a baby one for his. I'm working on his book. So this will go in his book. I got to use a lot of stuff from my stash. This is all from my stash. But, and this is from that, that, um, that paper pad I told you about. This is a Hit Kit Club paper, yes, because it's double. I love how this one came out too. The blues on his eyes. Forget it. This is my baby. She was 11 months this, this month in October. That's her. 11 month picture will go in her album this die cutting is i have it it's a sis it's a die cutting flower that um um i think it was crystal crystal or chrissy i'm not really sure she suggested to get it and i bought it and i love it it's one of my favorite dyes right now i just make my own background on the paper and i cut it out with the dye and look at how beautiful the flowers are i also put some texture paste on it and i just love how they came out and the leaves i did it myself too the, the background put a little bit of foam in between so they can lift up a little bit but this is one of another one of my favorite layouts this is gonna go on her book Um, this is another of my daughter's pictures from when she turned 21 this year. So I scrapped it with the Hip Kit Club exclusive papers. Most of it is all Hip Kit Club. Here is from the Scenic Group. I love how this one came out. She loves horses. She's like fanatic with horses. So we took her when she turned 20 to, to, to ride horses and she just loved it she enjoyed it so much that day that my other daughter wanted to ride it so we had to see if we can ask the lady to bring another horse out for my daughter can let ride it and um this one i stitched the heart and then i did the heart again with the white and then i stitched half of the heart with these strings this um, is also one of my favorites. Here's my lovely Crystal. This is another one I did for her. The sketch, I flipped it to this side. Everything was on this side on the sketch, but I flipped it this way just because, I don't know, I just wanted the pictures over there on that side. This is the September Hickip Club papers. Here is another paper exclusive for um, Hickip Club. That's another picture of her at the castle, the, the castle and Universal. I did a mixed media background, some stamping of triangles and stuff, and a little bit of mixed media there and a little bit of texture taste paste right here. 
This is my daughter and her boyfriend. This was very recently too. It was, I think, a couple of weeks ago, not even on their anniversary. They took pictures. There's that. This is a long time ago Thanksgiving. You can tell my kids were small, but we used to do a big family Thanksgiving where everybody came over that was living around and we would do like cake and food and all kinds of food and all kinds of stuff. So I was very glad to have this. This is, I think it's a simple story um, kit that got sent to me. Sometimes I don't even know what I buy. Let me tell you like that. They just show up and I think I bought it or not. I don't know. I'm getting, I'm real bad at that. So I need to slow down on that. Because I don't know where they're coming from. This is Scenic Root. It's the one with the butterflies on the sketch. I put her here. And I did all sequence, sequence and some sequence butterflies that I had. Plus I cut out some of the butterflies from the sheet. This one's came out cute. And the title's Butterfly Kisses. This was one Halloween ago, a long time ago. You can see my kids are small, my kids are big now. But what I did, this is the one with the triangle and the circles. I did a shaker pocket right there. These shaker pockets are from close to my heart. Ah, I caught From close to my heart. And this, I picked up, uh, um, you can see them, their hands and legs move. And I think the cat's tail moves. I picked it up at, uh, what is it called? Michael's. Yeah, Michael's. These were from, I embossed this right here. It's actually just wood, but I embossed it. Um, this is from um, Target, Target Dollar Spot, and the paper too. It is triangles, but I just cut, they were six by six, so I cut them up and put them on here. Yeah, this is from a little bit of everything. These things are from the Dollar Dollar General I told you about. This I got from um, buying the kit from um, Shimmers Paints. That's that one. This was the first, um, probably the first Halloween my kids went to. My daughter, she was a fan of Dora, so she had to dress up like Dora. And my daughter dressed up like a witch. I like this one. I like how this one came out. It's a long time ago. I have a lot of pictures of Halloween that I still haven't scrapped. So I just scrap them by season. And all these are embossed. I bought a box, a little round thing at um, Michael's. It had a bunch of stamps of Halloween, little stamps. So what I did is I stamped them and embossed them all around. Made my own paper, I guess. I don't have a lot of Halloween papers, so I had to make my own. And I think it came out awesome. This is my grandma, she passed away, but this was the last year my son saw her. And I happened to have found this picture of her. I have it on a frame, but I found another one because I couldn't take out the frame one because it's been so long that she passed away and it's stuck to the mirror to the glass so if I take it out it's gonna ruin the picture and I happened to dig through my photos and I found another one so I was so happy to scrap it I was so happy to scrap it and have an extra one this is one that I'll be putting on my wall this is uh, my kids first day at well, his first day in kindergarten, and she was in fifth grade, I think. Fifth or, yeah, fifth grade. Their first day of school, I took a picture of them outside before they left. And I did this layout. I like it.
I just picked up this collection too. I don't know when, where, from where. I know that I picked it up because I needed to scrap some school stuff. So I got a lot of this coming up for you guys. And this is the last one. This was yesterday, actually, Halloween day. We went to a Halloween, we went to a patch farm and they had horses, they had all kinds of stuff for, and they had um, every stand that they were selling stuff had, um, can had candy for the kids and Halloween candy. My kids were more interested in the horses we did a hayride. I've got tons of pictures from this stage, so you'll see all these fall pictures from this day, because we took tons of pictures of how, of this day, because I figured we'd do something like that for Halloween since we can't go out trick-or-treating or anything, since they can't go anywhere, so because of COVID, I figured we'd go and spend the day there. Um, we were wearing masks, the things we took them off to take the pictures, that's all. But this is the last one. Um, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my flip-throughs and all my, my, my layouts. And I'm sorry, Chrissy, that I couldn't do the videos. But, you know, life happens and we have to um, deal with it, you know? All right. So I will see you guys in my next video. I can't promise I'll have another video because I don't know how I'm going to be feeling. But I will try to at least make a video for a month. For a month, I can probably commit to that. One video. And to I'm um, back to myself and can make more videos. So I'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Feel free to hit the notification button. Leave any comments or questions you have on any of the layouts on the description below. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. God bless.